Hello friends, welcome to another video for best path selection algorithm or route preference. When a router receives more than one route to the same destination, it has to choose one route for packet forwarding. It chooses the best path to destination and attempts to install this path into the routing table. Let's discuss how routers select the best routes. A layer 3 device or RA router running TCP IP protocol evaluates routes in the following order of prefix length, admin distance and lowest metric. First of all, it prefers the smallest subnet or a prefix length. If all the lengths are equal, then it chooses the highest administrative route. And if the admin distance is also equal, then it chooses the route with the lowest metric. Let's discuss each type each preference one by one with an example. If a router receives multiple routes for same destination, it chooses the route with smallest subnet or we can say the longest prefix. For example, a slash 32 loopback is preferred over slash 30 point to point address. Let's try to understand this with an example. Let's suppose a router receives a packet which is destined for the IP address 10.0.0.73 and it has below 3 routes in the routing table which are shown here in the table. All routes are learned from OSPF protocol so they all have the admin distance 100 and all have equal metric of 100 as well. So there is no difference between admin distance or metric. After all calculations, the first route will be selected because it has the smallest subnet out of the three choices available. Even though the admin distance or matrix would be different, but still it will choose the first route because the first preference is given to the prefix. Admin distance is the second choice. Admin distance is a feature used for the routers to select the best path when there are two or more different routes to the same destination which are learned from different routing protocols. Admin distance defines the reliability of a routing protocol. Each routing protocol is prioritized in the order from most to least reliable or believable using the admin distance value. Admin distance is a numeric value that specifies the preference of a particular route. If a router receives routes from multiple sources and the prefix length of all of them is same, the route learned by the protocol with the lowest admin distance is always preferred. Let's try to understand this with an example. Suppose a router receives the packets destined for the IP address 10.0.0.73 and it has these three routes in its routing table. All routes have same prefix length which is slash 26 and all have the same metric which is 100. But they have been learned through different protocols. First route is received via OSPF, second via RIP and third is via IBGP. So they have different admin distances. After all calculations the first route will be selected because it has the smallest admin distance out of the three choices available. So in this way the admin distance is the second choice after the prefix length. These are some of the admin distances on different vendors. For example, Cisco has zero admin distance for directly connected routes and all other vendors follow the same. But for static routes, Cisco has one and Microtech, Juniper and all of them like Huawei, they have different preference. Then after that, OSPF, ISIS, these are the general admin distances. For OSPF, we always have 110 and some vendors have a little bit different. For ISIS, it's always 115 on Cisco, which we have seen, but it's 15 on Juniper and Huawei. Then there is EBGP, IBGP, EIGRP, which is Cisco proprietary. And finally, there is 255 for the unknown subnets. The third and last preference is metric. Lowest metric is always preferred. Metric is a value which is calculated and used by a routing protocol to determine which routes are better than others. In the event there are multiple routes learned by the same protocol with same prefix length, the route with the lowest metric is always preferred. If two or more of these routes have equal metrics, they are load balanced. 
Let's try to understand this with an example. Suppose a router receives a packet which is destined for the IP address 10.0.0.73 which is same in all of our examples and it has below 3 routes in its routing table. All routes have the same prefix length which is slash 26 and all have same admin distance which is 110. All 3 routes have been learned through the same protocol which is OSPF. After all the calculations by the router, the first route will be selected because it has the smallest metric out of all three choices available. So in this way, the metric is the third preference. Metrics used in IP routing protocols include bandwidth, cost, delay, hop count, load, reliability and so on. There is a complete list of metrics, their values and all the relevant detail on my ATEC website. These rules hold true even when evaluating directly connected routes which have the admin distance of 